The video you're watching right now is a real leak of Halo 4 from late May of 2012. This is real footage of Halo 4's internal build at the time, recorded onto a VHS tape, played on an old CRT television, inside of a barn. Yes, I am serious. This footage, like any drop of Halo footage, would be torn apart and dissected with ruthless precision by not only myself, but the entire Halo community. Leaks like this are what gives us our first looks at huge games like the Halo titles well before their intended dates. Halo is absolutely no stranger to these types of leaks. These are sometimes, though, detrimental. Some fans, especially those who aren't familiar with game development, believe that what they're seeing is representative of the final game, and this is typically not the case. And in rare events, the, the leaks are rarely of decent enough quality that trying to make anything meaningful out of them or discern any useful information tends to be a bit of a fool's errand. Hey there, I'm Forbear, and today we're going to go over the history of Halo's leaks, discuss a recent fake leak by a special guest, Gundam, or Haro Kid as you may know him, and try to find some ground to stand on when it comes to figuring out if leaks are real and how to react to them. Let's begin. Like them or not, the Halo community goes so long without any info at times that we cling to these leaks with everything we have and beg 343 for more information. As we're keen to try to prove their legitimacy rather than outright try to disprove them. It's some cosmic irony, I think, that Halo is the only franchise I've ever seen with the kind of leaks it has. Not all are silly or fantastical, like the barn leak I mentioned earlier, but some absolutely are. We're going to specifically look at Halo Reach, Halo 4, Halo 5, and a supposed Halo Infinite leak as well. First up, Halo Reach had the Tom Morello images that showed off the first three levels of the game, along with the game's main menu and some of the new UI and weapons that would eventually be featured. Quick side note, I was all in on the Halo Reach hype train, and the image of the needle rifle was one of the reasons it eventually became one of my favorite weapons in all of Halo. Other than Tom Morello's terminology being slightly off, calling, you know, armor abilities perks and that sort of thing, everything he told us became true. He laid out general details of the first three campaign missions and broke down the new quote-unquote single-shot battle rifle. It's leaks like the Tom Morello leak that give us the most amount of insight on a game early in development while accurately portraying information, but... How weird that a member of Rise Against the Machine once leaked a Halo game. Second is Halo 4. We know we started with this at the top of the video, but a brief history on where this one originated from. So, on May 27th, 2012, exactly a week before E3 2012, footage was found on YouTube of someone inserting a VHS tape into a VCR that was connected to a CRT television inside of a barn. On that tape was Halo 4's multiplayer gameplay. Everything that was seen in that video lined up with what we'd known from the Game Informer cover story from April of the same year, almost two months before the leak and subsequent gameplay reveal. This footage showed off everything from the new armor abilities and the style of Halo Reach, kill cams, new weapons like the railgun, and the new ordnance system. Needless to say, given the quality of the video, some were reasonably skeptical that it was just an elaborate fake but as we would all find out, it was in fact real and will definitely go down as one of the weirdest video game leaks of all time. Finally, Halo 5 Guardians was leaked on November 9th of 2014 with a series of GIFs. Now, the only one I was able to get my hands on was the one that's playing on screen now, so I apologize for the looping. It showed off the new Spartan abilities, including the Smart Scope, Sprinting, Thrusters, and the Midship Remake Truth. These leaks were mere days before Halo Fest in 2014 where we would get our first official look at Halo 5's beta and then get our hands on it a few weeks later in December. Again, this leak proved to be completely accurate. The problem was the community's reaction to things like Smart Scope and Sprint being in the game after Halo 4's poor reception and not having the context needed to understand what Smart Scope would do to the game how it would achieve its goals mechanically, that it would not affect your character or your accuracy like it does in other first-person shooters, and the general vision for the Spartan abilities that 343 had at the time. 
Whether it's in a barn or signed by Rage Against the Machine's Tom Morello, Halo leaks are always exciting. So while we're here, let's take a look at a recently fabricated leak by a friend of mine before we look at a potential Halo Infinite leak. The image on screen was recently posted to 4chan anonymously by my friend and recent era user, Gundam. I reached out to him and this is what he had to say on the process of creating the image and what his goals were with it. Hi, my name is Kaden. I go by HaroKid in most online spaces and by the username Gundam on the video game forum ResaEra.com, where I attempted to prove a point about how easy it is to fake a leak by spending a little over an hour in Photoshop and trying to make something I could pass off as real. This was a direct response to what I'll call the Silent Cartographer leak, a leak that was as unconvincing as it was perplexing that as many people gave it the time of day as they did. So, I didn't want to spend much more than an hour on this project. If you include planning and finding the assets, the whole endeavor took closer to an hour and 30 minutes. Writing the script for this and recording this has taken far longer. For transparency, I am a digital media graduate and I try to do this sort of stuff for a living, but anyone with a basic understanding of photo manipulation and access to software could do this probably better than I did. The approach that I want to quickly break down here is less reliant on a technical prowess with Adobe Photoshop and more about attention to detail in pretty much every other aspect. First things first, we have a basic shopping list of parts we need to find if we're going to make a complete composite. We'll need a background, a first person view of a weapon, in this case the assault rifle, and a HUD slash UI. But before we go looking for our assets, let's establish what we need to steal and what we can make. The HUD, which is comprised of exclusively 2D elements, is something we could make entirely on our own. For the 3D elements, let's start with this screenshot of the multiplayer map Edge, a map from the cancelled and then bootlegged Russian free-to-play game Halo Online. This is perfect for us as it's not an immediately recognizable image to most of the audience that would see this leak. It also lines up with what little we've seen of the Halo Infinite Forerunner design language. Remember that although Halo Infinite is going back to a more classic-esque art direction, it is still a melding of sorts between Bungie and 343's approach, and ultimately, is something new. Next up is the Assault Rifle. Thankfully, we won't have to resort to any fan-made assets for this. In the 2011 E3 demo footage for Combat Evolved Anniversary, we can see that the Assault Rifle model is lifted straight from Halo Reach, but Combat Evolved's FOV, Centered Crosshairs, and View Model Position create a very different silhouette from the Halo Reach version. This was later changed to a different model in the final release, and so it's perfect for our composite. For a minor flourish, we are also going to grab this Sentinel from Halo 5. To complete our leak as something passable, we now need to move on to the UI. Here is where the make or break moment for our leak is. While I feel confident in our 3D sources, a bad UI will give us away. If we look back to many of the older Halo leaks that have turned out to be real, there's always some sort of game mechanic that we can discern or theorize about. Before we dive into fabricating our own mechanics, let's implement some of the essentials. We've already seen a version of the Halo Infinite Shield Bar, and so it doesn't make too much sense to make our own. We'll add a motion tracker to the usual spot, this time with a sort of rotating compass marker on it to save time, instead of making our own compass indicator above the shield. Now, it's time for fabrication. For the weapon indicators, ironically, I will be using the Halo Reach Assault Rifle icon. As the final visual fidelity of the image will be too low to discern specific line art details, this is a decision I feel confident in. On this weapon indicator, we can pack some more information. Here we have 36 rounds. This mirrors Halo 5, a game where 343 tried to heavily put more emphasis on automatic weapons. Compounded with a custom Destiny-esque crosshair, viewers could interpret a direction 343 might take in regards to the weapon Sandbox. This is also useful for us as it distracts from the visual fidelity of our composite and redirects the attention to the viewer's own imagination as to what the game could be. And finally, for the Assault Rifle Indicator, we have the text Shredder Type. A quick visit over to Halopedia tells us that shredder rounds are a thing that are sometimes used in assault rifles. 
Given 343's propensity for injecting book lore into the games and almost universally accepted speculation that Halo Infinite might be open world or have RPG elements, we could reasonably imply some sort of upgrade or inventory system with this one line of text. Underneath the assault rifle, we are once again using what little knowledge we already have about Halo Infinite. We can see we have 10 rounds, a nice even number, and two weapon icons that are modified from the Halo 3 Mauler. From this, we can imply that dual wielding is making a return, albeit in a different way, and that these weapons, as revealed by this Mega Constructs toy, fit into that dual wielding mechanic. If we move over to the final part of our UI, we can see the Master Chief's objective indicator, telling him to rendezvous with Fireteam Hermes. In general, this just serves to fill the screen, again in an effort to overload the viewer with information. In specific, it helps us convince the viewer that Maybe this is indeed a product from 343. The name Fireteam Hermes just sounds very 343-ish to me, though this is more nebulous than it is logical. Now that we have our UI settled, let's cover the smaller finishing touches. While the environment is already in the style of 343's Forerunner design, to really push it even further, we're going to give it a wash of blue. We can see that by looking at the 343 Forerunner designs, it's not just the approach to geometry that separates it from the bungee style, but the range, or lack thereof, of many different colors. Often these environments are soaked in one or two tones. To further blend things into our environment, or to have elements match that we've already seen from Infinite, we are going to paint in some of our own lighting and recolor the assault rifle. To seal all of our elements together into a final composite, we'll apply a layer of noise to obfuscate the varying resolutions of each element. With the image, I've taken a photo of it being displayed from a projector in a dark and spacious room. This is definitely a bonus step that goes beyond having a basic understanding of photo manipulation and access to software, but it will introduce more noise and strays away from the I took a photo of the monitor I made this image with sort of look that is present in most leaks of this type. And for the most part, this all actually worked. I couldn't leave the image up for more than an hour before outing myself out of guilt, which did unfortunately limit the sample size of responses I got, but nearly every aspect that I expected to be analyzed was. Overall, I consider this project a success. A success in both pulling a prank on some Halo fans, and hopefully a success in proving just how easy it is for anyone to fake a screenshot. Thank you very much, Gundam, for taking the time to do that for us. Next, let's take a look at the supposedly real Halo Infinite leak and why I think it is real, especially now with Gundam's insight. For Halo Infinite, thus far, we've only gotten one credible leak, and it's this image. This is what we are going to be referring to as the grappling hook leak for the remainder of the video. The image on screen looks simple enough. There is the Halo 4, more specifically Halo 5 sniper rifle model, pretty standard fare, but the UI is unlike anyone that we've ever seen in a Halo game. You can tell almost immediately, in fact, that it's a placeholder or at best a work in progress. Then we start looking at different elements of this UI, like Gundam said. There's the compass above the health shield bar. There's an ammo counter with a weapon icon that doesn't really resemble the sniper rifle, but it has the four out of four rounds, which could either be telling of the magazine capacity, which is Halo's sniper rifle has always had that four rounds, or it could be four in the mag and four in reserve. We also see what looks like the front half of an assault rifle. Below both of these, though, we do see a box with the word knife in it. This would be new, but like Gundam said, it could be a new mechanic that we just haven't seen yet. Next, the namesake of the leak and the far more obvious addition, the green grappling hook icon on the bottom left. This, like Gundam mentioned again, could be a new mechanic similar to the knife below the ammo counter. This gives me huge Halo 3 vibes, and this coupled with the knife box gives some credibility to a more open world style RPG element included campaign, which is something that at the very least would be interesting to see and would fall in line with some leaks that have been shared in the past. So what's wrong with this leak? Well, the health bar for starters is more similar to that of Halo 5's, though I don't see any enemies, which if this is real could have lent itself to the theory that Halo Infinite would use health packs again, but I digress. 
a health bar that looks like Halo 5 in an early build of what would be Halo 6 makes sense, and here's why. The arm holding the sniper rifle and the sniper rifle model itself are both from Halo 5. This gives even more credit, in my opinion, to the legitimacy of the leak. Art assets in early game development, especially for sequels, will typically be pulled from previous titles as it takes a long time to polish and implement new art. If you go back and watch Bungie talk about features they wanted in Halo Reach, it uses Halo 3's engine and art to show off these early ideas. Same goes for Halo 4. If this was from Halo 5 and was just an early slice of the game from, say, 2013, the art seen in the arm and the sniper rifle would not be so polished. We would not have the completed player hand model and the sniper model. This gives way to the likelihood of a Halo Infinite leak. But wouldn't it be so much more convenient if this was somehow confirmed to be real? On January 30th, 2020, 343 uploaded a video titled We Are 343 Industries. In this video, the sweet, sultry voice of one Frank O'Connor, the Halo franchise development director, shares with us what makes 343 Industries the place that any game developer would dream of finding themselves one day. At the 5 minute and 32 second mark, there's a shot of something playing in the background. There. Did you see it? No? Let's look at Reddit user Flanders Ned's GIF of it. That's right. What we're seeing here is gameplay with a UI that matches nearly perfectly. Now, to be fair, Frank O'Connor did take to Twitter and mention that, quote, you know we scrub these for accidental leaks, right? Thanks for nothing, 4K. Gray box forge thing you're looking at doesn't show anything meaningful and isn't even necessarily content from Infinite. Sometimes they're just test environments or cutouts of Halo 5 prototyping work. He continues in a follow-up tweet, however, quote, And sometimes just stuff from dev that we decided doesn't constitute anything meaningful or meaningful intended to ship. All of this said, this is still just a leak and should be taken with a grain of salt. It could very well be a Halo 5 dev build, but the odds of the grappling hook leak having so many similarities to the dev build are a billion to one. The shields match, the compasses match, and even the blocky unfinished aesthetic of the overall UI appears to be identical. There has been one other Halo Infinite quote unquote leak, but it's so easily proven fake as mentioned by Gundam in his breakdown that I really don't think it warrants covering here in this video. Just know that if you see it and consider it to be a legitimate leak, please ask yourself if any of the elements shown are obviously ripped from other games and and just how easy it would be to pull that off. It's easy to see just how silly some of Halo's leaks have been. Whether it's in a barn or signed in Microsoft Paint, we as a community love these little droplets when it seems that the well has run dry. We thrive on them and I hope that after watching this video you now have a better eye and understanding for what to look out for in the next time someone posts an image claiming that it's the real deal. Halo Infinite is so close, guys, and with the Halo Waypoint blog post from May 15th titled Anniversary Analysis, we now know for certain that we will be seeing the game in July. We'll just have to wait and see if there's any more leaks to be had between now and then. Thank you guys so much for going on this journey with me. I had a ton of fun researching this and finding all the little tidbits and visuals again. Please let me know what you'd like to see me cover in the future. Uh, if you suggest something that I do decide to cover i will absolutely give you a big shout out in the video and read your comment as always you can continue the conversation with me on twitter at forebear on twitch.tv slash forebear and by sharing the video with your friends let's have a conversation until next time stay safe and have fun